<laughs> All right, I'm here with our fantastic tasting audience, and I have a question for you guys. Who here pops their own corn? Mm-hmm, okay, a couple. Who buys already bagged popcorn? I tend to buy bagged popcorn, too. In fact, a lot of people don't pop their own corn anymore. So we're here with Jack to find out exactly which brand of bagged popcorn is the tops. I've got some samples for you. I'm gonna tell you lots of fascinating science. Okay. So get ready to rock start your world eating. about popcorn. You can start eating. Most Americans are now buying bagged popcorn. Sales are up 60% in the last four years. One of the good things here is these are relatively plain in mm -hmm. the sense there are only three ingredients, salt, oil, and popcorn kernels. I think a lot of people like the simplicity of the bagged popcorn. It's not cheap. Uh, it's about 10 times more expensive than popping it yourself. I know. But it is always convenient. So two things I want you to pay attention to. Okay. First is how much salt flavor and how much corn. We found too little salt and it seems bland. Too much salt and you can't taste the popcorn. You don't get the toasty, buttery notes mm -hmm. from the popcorn. Even without butter, popcorn has a buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. Second thing, and this is fascinating, we actually worked with a scientist at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln who explained to us, depending on how much water is there, how it's heated, the variety, you can get one of three different shapes of popcorn. Unilateral, it popped in one direction, <laughs> looks like an octopus. This is a bilateral, it kind of popped in both directions. <laughs> Multilateral, it went in three different directions. We went through each of these bags, took out 100 pieces randomly, and then sorted them. Unilateral, bilateral, and multilateral. Because you guys do that at home, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> because we wanted to know why some of them were so much crunchier than others, and it turns out the unilateral ones are the crunchy ones. And so the more unilateral pieces, the ones that look like little octopus, mm -hmm. the crunchier it is. And if wow. you have a lot of multilateral, it tastes like styrofoam. Mm -hmm. It's kind of soft and stale. The winning brands had more than 50% unilateral pieces. The losing brand had 4% unilateral really? pieces. I know, you're like, you can't. Like <laughs> looking through for unilateral pieces. So, anything that you're immediately noticing here among these different samples? This particular one, not salty enough for me. It also has some strange flavor to it. Okay. This one is, uh, the texture was okay, a little bit bland. These two, I think, are my two favorites. So, there are two that you liked and two you didn't. Mm -hmm. and this one, I think, is my favorite. Okay. All right. <laughs> you wanna start with the bottom? Yeah, why don't we start there? I tried to fool you and I failed. This there is stovetop popcorn. You know, it's cheaper, but it's not necessarily better. We made this uh, a couple hours ago, mm -hmm. wanted to cool down, but it isn't necessarily a poor choice to go buy bagged popcorn. It's a more expensive choice and a more convenient choice, but it's not necessarily a lower quality. Hmm, I'm gonna go with this one. This one also I wasn't too crazy about. Yeah, so that's the um, Skinny Pop. It okay. was the very bottom of the rankings because this is the one that only had 4% of the unilateral pieces, the ones that are really crunchy. And it just tastes a little stale. It's not actually mm -hmm. stale, but it seems softer and not crisp. All right, this is my runner-up. And this was our winner, the Cape Cod. We thought this one had a nice amount of crunch. This has 50% unilateral pieces, really a nice popcorn. And this one. And this was really close. This was our runner-up. It's the smart food. The audience actually picked this as their favorite. Yes. The experts put this in second place. But again, really crunchy, nice level of salt, a great choice. Well, I think the experts, as you said, need to go way where the experts now, right, audience? Yep. Yeah. So we chose the smart food, but our winner was actually Cape Cod sea salt popcorn. And it's very delicious. <laughs> Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>